Did you hear the rumor that Samsung might put a weaker chip in the Galaxy Z Fold 7? Well, it turns out that's not happening. Samsung is going all in with the full 8-core Snapdragon 8 Elite processor, the exact same one that's powering the Galaxy S25 lineup. That's now confirmed thanks to a benchmark result that puts all the earlier doubts to rest. Let's take a quick look at where this rumor even started. There were talks online about Samsung possibly using a 7-core version of the Snapdragon 8 Elite in the Z Fold 7. The reason behind this, foldable phones usually deal with more heat buildup because of their design, so some believe Samsung might go with a slightly toned down chip to avoid overheating. And to be fair, that idea wasn't completely wild. There is a version of the Snapdragon 8 Elite with 7 cores, specifically made for foldable phones. So when that rumor started, it made sense to some people. Using a chip that runs a little cooler could help with battery life and thermal control. But here's the problem. When you're spending almost 1,800 US dollars or more on a phone, you don't want something toned down. You want top tier performance. Anything less would feel like a downgrade. People expect the Z Fold series to deliver the best of everything and a weaker processor would definitely fall short. Thankfully, we now have proof that Samsung is not cutting corners here. The Galaxy Z Fold 7 will have the same 8-core Snapdragon 8 Elite for Galaxy version used in the Galaxy S25 series. That means high clock speeds, strong graphics, smooth multitasking, and fast performance, everything you'd expect from a premium flagship. On top of that, the phone will also come with one UI 8 pre-installed, running on Android 16. So you're not just getting top hardware, you're also getting Samsung's newest software right out of the box. The combination of fast performance and updated software will give users the full premium experience. Now, looking back at that earlier rumor, it's clear that it was never based on anything solid. There were no leaks from trusted sources and Samsung never hinted at using the 7-core chip. It was just the rumor mill doing what it does best, spinning stories. Still, it's understandable why people were concerned. Foldable phones are still relatively new and they often face design challenges that regular smartphones don't. Cooling is one of those problems. So when talk about a weaker chip started making the rounds, it raised a lot of questions. But Samsung has now cleared those doubts without saying a word, just by showing what's actually in the device. The Galaxy Z Fold 7 is expected to launch later this summer. Along with it, Samsung will also be introducing the Galaxy Z Flip 7 and the new Galaxy Z Flip FE, a more affordable clamshell style foldable. It looks like Samsung is working hard to cover every price range with its upcoming foldables. So if you were worried that the Galaxy Z Fold 7 might come with something less powerful, you don't need it anymore. Samsung is sticking with its best chip, and that's exactly what people want to see in a phone that's expected to cost over 2,000 US dollars, especially if import taxes go up later this year. In short, the full-strength Snapdragon 8 Elite is confirmed for the Galaxy Z Fold 7. No downgrade, no performance gap, and no missing features, just a powerful foldable phone that delivers on all fronts. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates on Samsung, foldables, and all the latest tech news. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Is Samsung finally ready to bring back its own chip to power the Galaxy S series? That's the big question. And if the latest reports are right, you might be seeing Samsung's new Exynos 2600 chip inside the Galaxy S26 phones next year. After a few delays and a lot of testing, things are finally moving in the right direction. Here's the background. Samsung originally planned to use its Exynos 2500 chip, built on a 3 nanometer process for the Galaxy S25 series but that didn't work out. Why? Because Samsung Foundry couldn't get a good enough production yield. In simple terms, too many chips coming out of the factory weren't working properly, and that made it too expensive to continue. So Samsung decided to use the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite chip instead, and most users were actually happy with that decision. Qualcomm processors are still seen as faster and more reliable by a lot of people, but Samsung hasn't given up on making its own high-end processors. Now they're working on the Exynos 2600, which is being built using an even smaller 2 nanometer process. And this could be a game changer if it all goes according to plan. So, where do things stand right now? According to a new report from Korea's AK Radio, Samsung Foundry has managed to reach a 40% yield rate for its 2 nanometer production line. That means 4 out of every 10 chips they produce are working properly. While this number still isn't high enough for full scale production, it's a big improvement. Usually, chip makers wait until yield rates hit at least 70 to 80 percent before they start mass production. But with this progress, Samsung could be on track to reach that goal before the end of 2025. If they hit the mark, the Exynos 2600 could enter mass production by November, giving Samsung enough time to include it in the Galaxy S26 series. 
How does this compare to the competition? Well, TSMC, the company that makes chips for Apple and others, has already reached a 60% yield rate for its own two nanometer chips. So Samsung still has some catching up to do, but it's not too far behind. Now, we all remember how previous Exynos chips struggled when compared to Qualcomm's. From heating issues to poor battery life and weaker performance, users had plenty of complaints. That's why Samsung is under pressure to make the Exynos 2600 a real competitor this time around. So what can we expect? Samsung hasn't shared many details yet, but the Exynos 2600 is expected to bring better CPU and GPU performance, improved power efficiency, and cooler operation compared to older versions. Basically, Samsung wants this chip to feel just as fast and smooth as the Snapdragon without the downsides. If they succeed, the Galaxy S26 series could mark the return of the Exynos chip in flagship devices, at least in some regions. That would be a big step forward for Samsung's long-term plans to reduce its dependence on other chip makers. Of course, all of this depends on how well the production process continues. There's still a lot that could change between now and the end of the year. For now, all eyes are on Samsung Foundry and whether they can push the Exynos 2600 across the finish line in time. If you're excited about what the Galaxy S26 could bring or just curious about how Samsung's new chip will perform, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We'll keep you updated on all the latest news, leaks, and official announcements. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Did you expect Samsung's next big foldable phone to skip a major update? Because that's what might actually happen. The upcoming Galaxy Z Fold 7 could launch without one UI 7 and instead jump directly to one UI 8. Sounds confusing, right? Especially when a lot of people are still waiting for the current update to even arrive on their phones. Let's make sense of this. One UI 7 is Samsung's version of Android 15, and it was officially released toward the end of 2024. But despite that, a large number of Samsung devices haven't received the update yet. Flagships like the Galaxy S24 Ultra only started getting it after months of waiting. And for others like the Galaxy F53, Z Fold 4, and Galaxy S21, the wait is still on. Samsung has promised updates for these models around April, May, or maybe even June. That's a really long time to wait, especially when other Android brands are already done updating. Now here comes the twist. Leaks suggest that Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold 7 might not even bother with One UI 7. Instead, it goes straight to One UI 8, which is based on Android 16. That's right, a phone that hasn't even been released might skip the current version entirely and come with the next one out of the box. If that's true, it's a bold move, and it's going to raise a lot of eyebrows. Think about it. Many users have been stuck waiting nearly a year to get Android 15, while this brand new foldable could show up running Android 16 from day one. That doesn't sit well with everyone. For someone using an older Galaxy model, it might feel like being pushed to the back of the line. Again. But why would Samsung do this? There might be a bigger reason. Google is rumored to launch Android 16 earlier than expected this year, possibly as soon as June. That timing would make it possible for Samsung to launch the Fold 7 in July or August with a new software already installed. From a business point of view, that's actually pretty smart. Launching a high-end phone with the newest Android version sounds like a great way to stay ahead of the competition. Still, not everyone is happy. If you're a Galaxy A series or S series user, this might feel like another reminder that newer, more expensive phones always get the spotlight. And it's not just about feelings, it shows a real problem with update timing. Even the premium Galaxy S24 Ultra had to wait around nine months for Android 15. That's not just slow, that's frustrating for users who paid top dollar for their devices. There's also another side to this. Android 16 is supposed to bring better support for foldable and large screen devices. It will remove some limitations that currently stop apps from working properly on bigger displays. That's important for phones like the Fold 7, which depend on these features to give users a better multitasking experience. Samsung likely wants to make the Fold 7 the leading foldable on the market, and launching it with One UI 8 could help them do just that. Even so, most Samsung users aren't using foldables. Samsung ships hundreds of millions of phones each year, and the majority are standard S and A series phones. These users form the backbone of Samsung's success, and they also deserve fast, reliable updates. If updates are too slow, people start to feel left out, especially when a new device gets to skip ahead. Maybe Samsung is trying to get everything just right before releasing software updates, but sometimes focusing too much on perfection can delay what really matters to users just getting the update in a reasonable time. So if you're still waiting for one UI 7 on your Galaxy phone, don't worry, you're not alone. And if the Galaxy Z Fold 7 really does come with one UI 8 right from the start, 
Hopefully Samsung doesn't forget about the rest of its users in the process. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates.